Uh, joining us next will be our Dr. Rigero Santilli. Uh, he's a physicist that uh, has a tremendous amount of things to say about energy and a variety of different things that we'll talk about going forward. So, Dr. Dr. Santilli, you out there yet? Yes, I am here. And Perfect. Very, very first, I, first, to I, interview. Right. I, I've been looking forward to this interview for a number of different reasons. You're obviously uh, an, an incredibly accomplished man, both educationally, theory-wise, theory -wise, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of science, and I, I, I just want to give you the floor to tell us about your journey to getting to this level of scientific expertise. Well, it has been a long journey because it started uh, with the highest possible uh, PhD degrees. In, uh, this was in Europe, in, in Italy, and then but it's not enough. After the PhD, you have to go further. Specialized as a physicist, um, you have to know the, the, the highest possible um, um, you know, mathematic, mathematics which is available uh, for, uh, because we, without <clears throat> mathematics there is no quantitative treatment of problem and then there is no real what is called quantitative, uh, the scientific process requires the use of equations. Those equations have to be verified with experiment and then you can predict uh, new, new, new technology and new, new features. That opens up a whole different level of things right there with regard to technology and how technology moves forward based on mathematics. Do you see yourself as, as a thought leader when it comes to mathematics and physics as we see it today? Well, um, I, am an, I am considered to be an applied mathematician. As an example, when I was at Harvard University in the late 70s, early 80s, and I was on the contract of research for, with the Department of Energy to, um, to study the synthesis of the neutron in the core of star, which is at the foundation of Thunder Energy Corporation that we'll eventually discuss in a moment. Well, um, at that time, the, the Department of Energy um, moved me from the Lyman Laboratory of Physics, which is the physics division of um, Harvard, moved me to the Department of Mathematics, again because um, we had to develop new mathematics for the um, representation of this uh, majestic event in the core of a star because the existing mathematics was insufficient. It will not produce a quantitative treatment of the problem. Well, one thing that we found out based on your, your research and your studies is that we, we see a, a tremendous threat to national security caused by uh, smuggling nuclear materials. Obviously, we've seen a significant amount of information as far as the news is concerned with sales of nuclear materials to foreign governments with regard to the United States. Talk about the threat to national security of people who were dare to smuggle those sorts of materials. Yes, um, I've been very pleased, and I, I, I accepted this uh, this invitation for this interview with sincere appreciation um, for America, but also for my children, my grandchildren, because the, um, uh, the, judging from my experience as a physicist, a scientist, or travel around the world, the biggest threat. That the threat that we are facing today as American is that um, the terrorists will smuggle and detonate a, a nuke in our land. The, um, now, uh, at the collapse of the communists, I was one of the first um, scientists uh, to travel to Russia, and, I, and but after Russia, I went to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan had just been, the, um, uh, had just been become um, an independent state. So therefore, uh, Russian had left uh, all the Russian ar ra army had left um, the steppes, which is an enormous area in, um, that belongs to Kazakhstan. But the point is that um, at that moment there were tens of thousands of silos with intercontinental ballistic missiles, each one having multiple multiple um, nukes, warheads. All those tens of thousands of silos were um, totally um, unattended because the Russian army had left. Uh, Kazakhstan had, uh, didn't have the time to organize. Uh, uh, organized the, the, you know, the surveillance, and so, so it appears, I'm, I don't have no clearance, and, um, and, but um, from, in my, from what I know, for instance, Pakistan obtained the, the nukes that they de detonated um, in the early 2000s, they were originated from those unattended, unattended um, silos. I would like to add uh, that, so this is a real threat, the nukes are out there for sale. However, I, I, I would like to take the opportunity to, um, to express, um, I have no words, actually, to express my appreciation and my gratitude to our intelligence, not only American intelligence, CIA and, um, and NSA, but also the uh, combined intelligence of our ally, Israel, of course, and, uh, and then, of course, Italy and, uh, and England, because it is my opinion as a scientist that uh, they have done an unbelievable job, simply unbelievable job, of preventing 
the smuggling of, um, of a nuclear weapon in our land and preventing its detonation in our land has been an enormous difficult job. The, the, the miracle is due to the fact they have done by just sheer intelligence because they have no equipment. And that's where we enter Thunder Energy Corporation. Our company is a publicly traded company with the stock symbol TNRG, Thomas, and Nancy, Roger, George, Thomas, Nancy, Roger, George. Our comp company has been developed precisely to, pro to help assist this is enormous, uh, enormous uh, work by our intelligence. And right, again, right. intelligence by America, but also our allies. Dr. Santilli, can I, Dr. Santilli, hold on just a second. We're up against we're up against a little a break here, and we'll what we'll do is we'll come back on the other side. We'll talk about some of the things that you're doing to help us solve that problem going forward. We'll be right back. Welcome back to CEO Money. This is Ed Baxter sitting in for Michael Yorber. We're speaking to Dr. Ruggiero Santilli, physicist and all-around smart guy. Dr. Dr. Santilli, you spend a tremendous amount of time looking at ways to, to deal with the threat associated with the, the smuggling of nuclear materials. Can you kind of talk to us a bit about how you do that and how, you, how your research and your company does that? Yes, thank you. <clears throat> this is a job that we did with considerable investment in time and money and human and scientific resources because uh, we believe it is significant for our national security. The, 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 the issue is the following, that uh, uranium-235 or plutonium-239 or the other um, nuclear fuels, they are permanently stable uh, metals. In reality, they are unstable, but their main life is very, very long, so practically they are a stable metal. As a result of this, they, they, when you scan the suitcases with an X-ray, you cannot distinguish between a piece of uranium-235 or, or a, a piece of stainless steel. No, because they will appear as being the same. The only way of detecting with, with certainty the presence of, um, of nuclear fuel is by irradiating suitcases, um, or um, container or the ground with a, flow, a, flow, a flux of low energy neutron because only when um, the nuclei of uranium and other fiss uh, fissionable material are hit by neutrons, then they disintegrate. Uh, they explode and they break down in a, a variety of components and, and uh, by releasing a shower of, of very, very hard uh, radiation that can be identified unquestionably. So the issue was to, to come up with, um, with an equipment that will produce the needed flux of, of, of neutron, of low energy neutron that allows such a detection. That was the problem in existence um, 10 or 20 years ago. Well, it looks like in this case, uh, Thunder Energy, your company, has developed the only available source of neutrons that allow uh, the synthesize of hydrogen gas to do those sorts of things. And how do you use that in addition to applying it to with as an application through the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, how, many, how, do, you, how do you draw those two things together? Well, the, 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 again, the, the, this required a long journey because we had to go back to understand the, the neutron is synthesized in the core of a star and uh, from an hydrogen atom that's rather for 1910. Uh, this word is that when um, a conglomerate of hydrogen reach such a dimension and then the, the pressure at the, at the core is so big that this, the uh, quote, uh, Rutherford says that the hydrogen atom is compressed inside a new particle, which he called neutron. Now the, now the problem is this is um, radically away from the structure of the uh, hydrogen atom. All the 20th century theory, special relativity, quantum mechanics, and so on, they are majestic for the hydrogen atom. However, when you go to, um, to compress an electron inside a problem, there are, um, there are difficulties to achieve the needed uh, quantitative representation. So that's why we have to develop first a new mathematics. After developing a new mathematics, now it's called the isomathematics, developed a numerous mathematics uh, circle. Then we have to develop a, a, a corresponding f a physical theory. Even, um, even in chemistry, we had, uh, we had difficulty. You see that what, um, the, we synthesize a neutron from the hydrogen molecule. What is a more hydrogen molecule? Two hydrogen atoms bonded together uh, according to the valence. But what is a valence according to quantum chemistry is um, a nomenclature because it does not pro provide um, the force by, by, um, bonding to, um, binding together um, the electron. But, um, but keeping in mind that the protons are far away, very, very far away for atomic distance, 
And here's the key point. Uh, the identical electrons of the hydrogen atom cannot bound themselves into um, create a, a very, very strong bond because they have the same charge. So according to quantum mechanics, quantum chemistry, the, the, the valence electrons should repel each other and not attract each other. That's why the valence is not, the notion of valence in quantum chemistry is considered a nomenclature. But we had to come up with um, a solution of this. We did. We achieve indeed an attractive force um, via this new mathematics and new physics, and uh, it's called now also new chemistry, it's called uh, hydronic chemistry. We, um, and we verified uh, um, that indeed uh, this representation provides uh, an exact representation of molecular, molecular data. So it was an enormous struggle, after, and only after we understood how the neutron is synthesized, this took up to the end of the, um, the past century, then early this year, I, only then I started the experimentation, because before, you can spend a lifetime, or more than right. one lifetime, and get no results. Yes, with, you can. Because you don't know what you are looking for. And so, um, so after about um, a decade of tests, finally we obtained significant results that were sufficient to justify the setting up of a public, uh, publicly traded company, which I did thanks to the assistance of my wife, Carla Santilli, because she's in the administrator of the company. And, um, and we started um, additional development. Now we are in production and sale of what is called a directional neutron source. The name of an equipment, you push the button and synthesize the neutron in the desired flux, in the desired energy, and in the desired direction, all synthesized from an hydrogen gas, and we believe that this can, it may be of relevance to the magnificent job that has been done by our intelligence, combined it with intelligence again from Israel, as it has a crucial role in, in, all, in this enormous struggle. In Italy, too, Italy is in Tampa as a contingent of Secret Service right. people helping America. I, I was noticing that you indicated that. Uh you know, this is a global issue, and obviously the, as a gateway, or lack of gateway, that is, as far as Israel is concerned, you've shown it's, they're very important in this process. Talk to me just briefly as we get, out, get close to our end here about the role Israel plays in helping uh, keep these types of materials off the market in the United States or entering the United States. Um, unfortunately, I, must, I think it's a magnificent question, <clears throat> deserving um, serious attention. Unfortunately, I'm a, I'm a scientist, and I don't have a clearance so everything I, everything I say is outside the equations is very, very empirical. Okay. I only know that, indeed, uh, Israel had a major role, being especially in the Middle East, right in the center, and uh, also in view of the diversified nature and, um, of, the, uh, of the Israeli people, which helps, of course, okay. you know, in, uh, in getting the intelligence. You, you, the, hold on. You, just, you mentioned also that Thunder Energy is, out, is, is, is producing a product now, and they've, they're looking to have their first product to be delivered in Europe in a short amount of time. Uh, as, as we close our interview here and, and talk about what Thunder Energies is and, and the role going forward, how would people get more information about Thunder Energies, about how you're raising capital, and the things they can do to help move this project forward? Well, we, <clears throat> the, the, we have not been, um, we, have, we, we have received this very, very small uh, amount of uh, funds uh, so far. Thunder Energy Corporation has been essentially financed by, by my personal, uh, personal um, loan, essentially. Uh, even myself, until now, I have not uh, accepted a salary, and uh, although I'm paid with uh, in stock, it was perfectly okay for me. In the uh, um, in, in the private equity world, we call that bootstrapping. <laughs> restricted stock. What it is. Enough. This is this. Uh, we believe this is so important that we will look at the money later. Now, but the objective on Thunder Energy is that of um, address. You know, essentially, now we have the the an equipment. But um, I can put it in um, in a trailer, <laughs> and uh, on, on one trailer, on the other trailer, I can rent um, an electric generator, and if necessary, if the, if Homeland Security, you know, is not convinced, I can uh, drive all those two trailers and, uh, in the parking lot in front of Homeland Security, called the, the manor, the, 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 the you know the the top um, people there, and say, come down and look at it. And so, so we are determined to attract the attention because we believe that this is is useful for national security and we are primarily looking for uh, research funds from um, from the, from the department of defense also because of possible expected military application okay. regarding uh, regarding uh, regarding in, um, investment um, you should know that uh, about 10 years ago i formed a magna gas corporation a company on a clean uh, burning fuel 
with my wife also. We started in, in the backyard of my house in Palma Arbor. We bought a company all the way to, to Nasdaq, where Manigas is quoted now under the symbol NNGA. Now, the, the point is this, that well, um, uh, the, it, was, it was very easy to finance uh, Manigas for $15 million. But in those few years, now the, the situation for the public, uh, public um, company has changed dramatically. And so I am aware of rather significant, if not sizable, the difficulty for investors, because the moment they invest more than 4.99%, they, um, they are restricted in their sales. That's and, correct. Um, so this is a very damaging to the economy, very damaging to America. This is my, my personal. But there are ways. There are ways in which you know, investor can um, can invest, and uh, and uh, we're available. Uh, a, uh, we believe that our stock is very low, so investing now <laughs> means that there's a realistic possibility of doubling, if not tripling. Who knows? Maybe quadrupling. Well, we know that uh, obviously uh, it. Performance is not necessarily, you know, guarantees for our stocks are concerned. But if if people want to get information about uh, you, they can go to thunderenergies.com, thunder-energies.com. That is correct. All the information is on thunder-energies.com. Thunder, like thunder and lightning, thunder-energies.com. And then look on the investment. There are, um, there are all sorts of, uh, we are fully recording. We, are, we have no, no, no late um, uh, recording on our record today. We, um, we, we filed the recording for the, 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 the preceding quarter. All the information there. And then um, and on the contact, and, and uh, click on contact, they can, see my, um, they can see my phone number. And uh, my email is info at thunder-energy.com that reaches me. So, so this, all the information is available. And Thunder Energy. When uh, anybody interested, you can access um, the website of thunder-energy.com. Then they will see the appearance of the symbol of um, the synthesis of the neutron. They can click there, and there is all sorts of information, including um, including copies, recent uh, scientific papers signed by by a group of uh, scientists and uh, published in Referee Journal as well as contracts, um, patent application, and, uh, and submission to the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. Well, we're, we're just about out of time, and uh, we thank you very much for the time you've given us, and you've, you've really shed some light on some of the things as far as that particular area is concerned, and uh, we'd love to have you back to discuss that more in the future, and uh, I thank you for your time. I'm really honored, and again, I have no words to say thank you.